Welcome to the Nutritionist Pro Next Gen video tour of the food label modules. I'll show you how to create compliant food labels in a variety of formats and in multiple languages for regions all around the world. In this video, I'll focus on U.S. food labels, but tutorials on making food labels for other regions are available on www.nutritionistpro.com. I'll show you how to generate nutrient claims, modify ingredient statements, and include allergen information to your food label. Let's get started by making a food label. Click on the Labels tab. At the top right, you'll see the various regions available, including U.S., Canada, Europe, and Hong Kong. By clicking on each region, you'll be able to choose from a variety of food label formats that are compliant with that region. After highlighting a food label format you would like to create, Select the language you would like on your food label. Depending on the region you have chosen, you'll be able to create food labels in languages such as English, French, Spanish, and Chinese. There are even options for a bilingual label in certain regions. Please note that the screen is the only place for you to select the correct region for your label. If you pass this screen and would like to change the region for your label, you'll need to return to this screen. Select Next to continue. This is the main screen of creating your custom food label. Please note that you can change the food label type and language of your food label at any time. If you would like to change the region of your label, you can click on the Label tab on the left and begin your selection from the beginning. NextGen provides two ways for nutrient information to populate the label. The first way is by adding a food to the label. This function allows you to retrieve your recipe from the database, and NextGen automatically fills out many of the required fields. Remember that you can use any of the filters in the search function to find your recipe. The second way is by manually entering nutrition data for the label using the Add Empty Food option. If you already have the nutrition information for your recipe, you can manually fill out necessary fields under each tab. Let's continue making a food label for the chicken pizza recipe, which was a custom recipe I added to the database. The weight of the serving size has already been calculated, but the serving size and servings per container are empty. Let's say that the pizza makes eight slices, so the serving size is one slice, and there will be eight servings per container. But if I package my pizza to make two pizzas, the serving size would remain the same at one slice, but the servings per container would be 16 slices. Click on Reference Amounts to identify the type of food and corresponding serving size reference amount for your food. These reference amounts are based on the region you selected. Click then on the Nutrient Claims to identify nutrient claims that your food qualifies for. Again, these nutrient claims are based on the region you selected. Under the Nutrients tab, you'll see that the actual nutrient values are displayed. Values can be edited if necessary. Under the Ingredient List tab, you'll see that an ingredient list is automatically populated based on weight per regulations. The allergen information will also automatically populate. Both areas are a free text box, so you can edit and modify as necessary. This screen allows you to modify your label. Click Next when you are finished. This next screen allows you to modify the dimensions and layout of your label for printing purposes. Once you have completed customizing your label, click Save or Print. You can save your food label as a PNG, JPEG, or PDF. To search for labels you have previously saved, click on the Labels module. Click on Search and use the filters available to narrow the search results. To purchase and see our entire list of products, visit us at www.nutritionistpro.com. If you have any questions, please send us an email at sales at axia.com.